Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another Forza 6 build video, man. In this one, we have another request from Kanjo8 on YouTube, and he wants to see a 2015 Subaru WRX. Now, that is a great suggestion because I have yet to build a 2015 uh, Subaru WRX in this game or Forza or horizon 2 or to be honest any other racing game that i own we have not bought one of these things and i gotta say this thing is looking like a perfect candidate for a slammed and stance build now i'm already noticing one flaw with that and that is that the wheels are not really that wide but i'm thinking we're gonna be able to uh you know hopefully make something happen here with this one so sit back and stay tuned because we are about get started man this and obviously this chick has to start Subaru blabbering on WRX yeah i know what STI. i bought why do you think i bought it so obviously you guys know we have to jump into the upgrade shop first and foremost now i'm thinking we're gonna leave the stock engine in here because i don't really want to tamper with this 2015 engine i got a funny feeling this is gonna be a good power plant look at our other options 5.7 liter or the 3 liter flat 6 um i want to say that's going to be out of a uh supra i want to say 2j man you guys let me know down in the comments drivetrain we are going to leave it all wheel drive because i still want this thing to perform uh front bumper all we're getting is a little splitter let's put that on there just for good faith man rear wing i'm thinking uh Oh, there's that delete. Now, this really honestly makes it look like a base model, but honestly, uh, you know, not too many. Uh, actually, I'm feeling it, man. Let's leave that stock wing on there. I was going to say, not too many cars uh, that are slammed in stands have these big wings, but then I remembered that I'm, a, I'm an idiot, and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is put on a race tire compound on this beast, because uh, I want it to perform, even though it is going to be uh, predominantly a slammed in stance build for those online meets and stuff like that. I still want it to look pretty dope, perform pretty dope, so we are going to put on some pretty dope tires. Now, here's where that slammed and stance is going to come in we are going to go to the third set uh what is the third set specialized rims now i believe these are the biggest like the deepest dish um dishes that you can get in this game i'm a big fan of these classic ats's gotta say these also a nice favorite actually those are looking pretty fresh for this specific build and i don't really use those on a lot of builds um everything else not really doing it for me these ones are nice uh, except for that center cap sticks out a bit much getting into those ugly ass chromes oh slammed and mofo stands i really like these um but i want to say that i did one with those wheels not too long ago so i'm thinking we are gonna go with the borbit a them a's so we are gonna go ahead and install these now you guys are thinking don squally that looks like crap hold up hey uh we are gonna go ahead big up those rim sizes because it's gonna be slammed in stance this thing needs to look fresh you know what i'm saying and uh what i'm thinking is that's gonna be okay for the wheels so let's get into that clutch dig deep with that stage three race clutch all up in that ass, uh, we're gonna put on a sport transmission uh, just because I kinda wanna be able to uh, mess around with the final drive ratio and things of that nature. We have the brakes, which we are going to install. Suspension, let's go ahead and drop that mofo. Now we are gonna have to make some adjustments as far as the suspension setup goes, but for now, just lowering it. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some sweet berries, front and back, any rolls. Uh, and we are going to get into the performance aspect. Now, I want to say this is a 2.5. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, that's pretty standard for the Subaru Boxer engines. I want to say 2.5, maybe a 2 liter, man. I'm not too sure. Guess I should have researched. Uh, you know how the Don Squally does, man. We just fly by the seat of our pants. We're just having fun with it. So, uh, you know. The politics don't really concern me too much, but if they concern you, let me know down in the comments. We got that 666 performance points. Looking beastie. Head up that flywheel. Now that we have all of the basics taken care of, 
turbos and things like that. I'm thinking we need to big up the engine block, probably do a displacement as well. Race pistons and compression. Uh, uh, uh. Now, I do not, did not want to have to cam this thing because I love the way that the uh, the stock cams are in these Subarus. But you yeah, know what? We need that power, man. So let's go ahead and drop that cam in here. We are pretty much, I'm thinking, gonna build this whole engine up. Why the hell not, man? We'll bring it to the top of S class, slammed in stance. S, you know only seems appropriate so oil and cooling i'm thinking is gonna be about as far as we're gonna be able to take this stock engine so let's jump into the tuning aspect of it and see if we can put a little bit of a baseline tune on this thing now once i get it out on the track i may want to change it a few things but like i say this is going to be a stance build as opposed to um you know a race build so you guys know what we got to do is put on that negative camber all day, every day. Um, that's looking good. Any roll bar, stiffen them up. Now everybody says that in the real world, uh, stiff suspension is really gonna screw up your launches and stuff. Yeah, I, I know, man. It's just a video game. You already know how we do. Uh, stiffen it all up, man, because uh, hey, this thing is gotta be like holding that stance all the time, man. Cause we don't want to rub. We don't want no rubbing. You know, rubbing's no good. Um, and let's go ahead, then brakes, differential, everything's looking Gucci right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that setup. Now we do have to jump into the paint car section uh, just to get these wheels looking right, man. So what I'm thinking for this one is a, first off, we gotta hit those black windows for show. And for the wheels, I wanna see a white set of wheels. Not looking too white in this uh, in this light here, but we're gonna go ahead and install it anyways. Save that to the car. What else should we do? Should we do the front diffuser, rear diffuser? I'm thinking we should. Maybe we'll throw on a couple of stickers here, man, because I'm feeling real racy today. So let's go ahead and uh, that's not racist racy. I'm talking about like race car racy. You guys, you guys know what's up, man. Apply that manufacturer decal. I'm thinking we're just going to get a couple quickies going on here uh, just along the door because, uh, man, those slammed in stance dudes, they, they be loving those stickers. So let's go ahead and whoop back it up back it up back it up my daddy taught me well um what do you guys think man bf goodrich let's throw on that sparko these are just my sponsors my video game sponsors so let's just add maybe one more here uh just for shits and giggles what do you guys say we already got some bf goodrich up in there forza top gear ah uh, let's go with that texaco man what the hell I'm kind of liking this uh, this white, the white with the uh, red and stuff in the sticker. So this Texaco, I think, is going to fit in just perfect. Uh, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and insert all from the left side. Yes, indeedy. And for the front, I'm thinking a black diffuser uh, just to set things off a little bit with the splitter that we got going on there. Size it up. Oh, that's looking, that's looking pam. Right there, man, is like exactly what i'm talking about what can we do for the rear oh the rear's already got that black bumper now that thing is looking fresh man uh wish it was a little bit lower but we're gonna get this thing out onto the track and see really what it's made of uh see how it performs and stuff like that if you guys have enjoyed the video so far don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed um yeah what else man if you guys want to hit me up on xbox one uh been a busy summer so far now that i've been back to work so haven't got the chance to play with you guys as much as that uh you know i would like to no homo but uh you know uh add me up and we will definitely get some stuff going so we're gonna jump into the test drive and i'm gonna go to my favorite track that burmese alps final circuit let's get into this man uh, what else do I gotta say? Now, if you guys have any requests 
for videos coming up in the future, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, because, you know, I like taking requests and stuff. It really gives me a nice variety of uh, cars to build. And as you can see, some of them turn out super sexy. Let's do a little launch here. Slam and stand, shall we? Woo! Now I gotta be 100% honest. Right off the bat, it feels a little bit, a little bit light on power for a fully built Subaru STI. I mean, I guess it is an S-Class, so most of that is gonna be in the performance and the handling of it, which we pretty much screwed up because uh, slammed and stancing a car is pretty much just ruining any drivability that it has. Um, which I like to drive my cars, man, and uh, have fun with them. So uh, this slamming and stancing my car, you know, to a certain degree, not something that I would consider doing. Just redlining the piss out of this boxer engine. You guys let me know what year is your favorite STI down in the comments as well because there's a big debate now. I, I like the, the body style before this, like the 08, uh, sorry, the 2011 like body style. Um, get some donuts going. This body style, not exactly my favorite. Oh, hit the wall, boy, hit the wall. But to be honest, I gotta hand it to Subaru, man. They they really, they hold it down when it comes to those cars, man. Huge donuts going on here. This thing is so sick, man. Look at that background. I'm thinking this is gonna be a perfect spot for us to pull off. Get ourselves a shot. Oh, and he put it into the wall again. So to be honest with the way that the suspension is set up here, not the greatest, and I have to be honest, um, the tire setup probably could, <laughs> probably could be changed a little bit. But, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it for the time being. Let's let's take a couple shots, man, because that's what being slammed in stance all about. Posting up, taking a couple dope pics at a whip, man. So let's do that. Jump it up on the gram. Look at this thing, man. This car is friggin' sick. Look at, you know, this is the only problem that I wish we had a little bit of spacer action going on here. Um, but I mean, just looking like the color combo is just absolutely perfect. The white wheels with the red. Only other thing that I might do is, uh, black out that roof, but oh man, what a gem this thing is. So I'm thinking we are going to put an end to this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, like I said, don't forget to subscribe comment like all that good shit um you know that's it man your usual youtube shenanigans um i'm your boy don squally i'm gonna stop talking put an end to this video i just want to say thank y'all for watching we're gonna catch y'all at the next one man Peace.